Hello everyone, this is size 8 long shank hook and thread I'm using is block 6.0 I'll explain all the material as I go along so I'm just doing the loose wrap and uh, <coughs> I'm going all the way all the way to the bend here under body I'm going this crinkle flush just under the body so you need about four or five strong so depend on how much you want you know how, how thick do you want so I'm just gonna do all the way so I can have a thicker one do about five or six wraps so and just cover all this material That's done. Come back towards the eye. So I'll leave this as it is at the moment. Now the body and underbody is going to be a foam. So this is a black foam. You can use your own color. This is a thick one, so five to six millimeter thick. So if you cut this in angle, just about both corner and then cut that from the middle okay now you can do foam straight away on the hook but what I'll do I'll add some dubbing on to it this is a synthetic dubbing just to make sure the form do not uh, kind of rotate on the shank or slip on the shank you know so this helps a little plus this material if it sticks out it makes a really nice holographic effects onto the body it will be hidden under the form actually I'll show you so Keep going a bit more. A little bit more. I'm not bothered about you know scruffiness at the moment. It's, it looks just fine at the moment right put it upside down and I'm gonna put some wax on the thread form we cut it like this so just put it through the hook bend all the way and just fold it bend it like this and then bring your thread now just to create some segment gently take your time I'm going to do three turn and then one two to do and make sure you do like the size you want you know if you're making a small one then do a lot smaller segment but so three turn again just make sure this looks all right you can always come back to now here three and now keep coming up Last one, I think. Few up in the front, 
and now you can check it. So as you can see, it looks quite all right. Now, come back to the normal position. Keep your thread. Now here, I'm just going to create the head. So you can see where the hook eye is touching. You have to make a little mark so we can have a just to make a little hole in there with a needle so we can get this hook through again just take your time and gently with your both finger and thumb pull this hook eye like this so this is quite okay for the head at the moment pull it out and then go back to the normal position keep the the foam back and add some more wax on it like I said you know it's a tricky but you need a little practice and you'll just kind of make it it will be all right actually you can make it easily when you do a couple of times Every, everything you make first time is always a difficult so make sure you do a bigger head and then come back to this normal position now bring this head that's fine and what I'll do here is get a dubbing brush and release all these fiber well I'm just did some just make sure you put them on either side just like a moustache you know and then fold this make sure they're sticking out on both cheeks and then form the head here three turn That's okay. Go up and get the thread onto the next segment, the second last one, and then catch it here. Okay. Now, now the leg I'm using these are the silly legs, silicone legs. So these are the natural color, light brown with a black. Um, dot on them or you can call them a bard so put like two on either side alter them and get another two to that side get one turn so you can check them if they're sitting all right we can cut them after actually even if it looks mess don't worry about that I'll sort it out okay now as you can see the legs are looking quite all right basically the next step is the body now the body is a lot it's a big fly so we need a longer body uh, Okay, and cut both ends. Just to give a nice profile onto the end, you know. Not necessary, but just to give a natural effect. And this is, should be a bit longer. That's fine. Still, still work to be done on it. Now, basically i can finish this off just here and use it as, as it is but to make more visible uh, sorry my fault is uh, to make this fly more visible sometimes you're fishing and you can't see your fly i mean obviously this is a large fly obviously we can see it but still i'm going to add some nice 
and this is a hot orange yarn very bright color just get a thick one um, not too much though in fact like I said you know don't rush always use your wax when you're doing this kind of post or anything you know or use kind of deer hair or other yarn or even foam like you know you can use anything make sure I spread this on the body so now here what I'll do is use some varnish onto the thread so we can secure everything make sure everything is out of way in fact, before I do that, I'm going to cut this leg a little small so I can get my way finish tool. Easily I can get access to it. So then we can alter the leg after. But at the moment, I'm just cut them small so you can get. Now try to get some decent amount of varnish onto the thread. Or you can just put this after but I think I prefer just like this you know one two and then very gently just go around just avoid catching this legs and material three turn that should be okay and then get this off okay now I'm gonna cut this That's, uh, that's fine for me you know I mean I think you can see that from miles <laughs> right now the legs uh, the front leg should be smaller so if I could just make sure you cut them equally and the one of the legs smaller than the other so 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 there we have one of my variation of Chernobyl aunt I hope you enjoy this one thanks for watching